Now let's look into the steps of preliminary phase. The first step in this phase is to define the scope. You as an architect need to know which core enterprise unit is going to benefit and will gain most value. If any other business unit customer vendor are affected by the change, by the architecture change that you will undertake, then even they need to be considered. Next step is to confirm there is a proper governance support framework in the place. Governance is a hierarchy of decision maker to whom you need to present your case, solution, artifacts and they evaluate and, and considers if it follows architecture principles. You need to determine how the process and artifacts you are undertaking can be brought under the governance. You also need to access the current governance model in this step. Next step, define and establish architecture team. It's critical to get a good team in place. It's very rare that just a single architect runs the entire organization. Usually in large organization, you have business architect, data architect and technical architect. These are domain experts and it's very critical to get this expert in the architecture team. Next, identify and establish architecture principle. Architecture principle sets foundation for governance process. Principle don't often change. For example, using a consistent host operating system, say Linux, for enterprise-wide application. This could be one of the rules or principle of the organization. And this principle could set a guiding direction for any new onboard application. So in this step, you identify and establish architecture principles. Next step, tailor TOGAF and other framework. TOGAF is not designed to implement as it's documented. Every company's needs are different. Each have different concerns. Some companies may value security as their main concern, whereas other may value application performance as their main concern. Hence, each company tailored TOGAF as per its need. So this step is about tailoring the TOGA framework as per your organization need. And lastly, implement architecture tool. TOGA F as such doesn't recommend any architecture tools. There are quite a few tools to manage your architecture framework, manage document repository and so on. So you have tools like SharePoint, Wiki, which can be used for this purpose. So this covers preliminary phase section. I encourage you to read chapter six from TOGAF document link as mentioned in the slide. Any question, please drop me a message. Also coming up next, architecture vision phase. Thank you, happy learning and God bless.